first issue is that the problem is not technology anymore. The technology is proven. The technology is cost effective. It's a question of how do we introduce it in the way that we need to, at the speed that we need to do it to achieve the decarbonization, to have a safe future. Uh, and that's the role of policy. And, you know, to be very clear, uh, there is not enough public finance to even begin to do the kind of heavy lifting that we need to do with energy investment and energy transformation. The bulk of investment and innovation is going to come from the private sector. For the private sector to feel comfortable about embarking on this new, very ambitious round of investment, they're going to, have, they're going to need a very secure, robust, long-term policy environment that incentivizes investment. First, we have to realize that if we want a world with uh, mostly renewable energy, we need to increase energy efficiency and demand-side management. Because uh, most of uh, our world has been built on abundant energy, and we have to realize that most of renewable energy being fundamentally intermittent, we have to be able to consume energy when it is available and ne not necessarily when the end use is uh, expressed. Digitalization is an enabler um, to deal with the challenges with increasing renewables. So we need digitalization. Without this, we cannot handle the complexity of fluctuation on the one hand side and much more decentralization on the other side. So this is an enabler and um, it has started um, on the smart metering side. Um, as mentioned, um, I expect much more now uh, coming in the, in, the, in the core of the grid. Smart meters more at the edge of the grid. Um, we will go now much more in the core of the grid. At the moment, in the most countries uh, globally, um, the distribution grid is dumb. Um, and uh, many of our customers talking about low voltage automation in order really to make happen uh, the optimization um, at the last mile.